Hello, Galaxy! I'm Chris Perillo. You've tuned in to another live edition of the Locker Gnome Daily Reporter, TLDR for short. Whew! You know, I thought these uh, LED lights would be uh, causing me to sweat less. Uh, but uh, I guess not. Maybe I should be wearing sweatpants. Maybe I should be wearing pants, period. No, I'm wearing pants. I'm wearing jeans. Uh, thank you for tuning in. As the title says... <laughs> Very clearly, this arrived today. I can't believe it. I'm so excited. Uh, it's my new Pixel 4 XL case. Uh, so here's the thing. I got it from, well, I got it on Amazon. For, it was like 10 bucks. Uh, it's, it's currently the type of case that I have on my Pixel 3 XL. And I'm, I'm happy enough with it. Uh, and, and I'll explain why here as I, as I do the unboxing. But first I want to say uh, that I'm not happy with the company, Spigen, Spigen, not exactly sure how to pronounce it, but uh, I actually didn't realize these were available on Amazon, and when I knew that I needed to protect uh, my still yet sh to ship Pixel 4 XL, I... I wasn't inclined to get the $40 fabric case that Google uh, makes, not because it isn't nice and I, I really like it, I, it just doesn't protect the phone as much as I, I probably need the phone protected and I, I've yet to find a really good screen protector for any uh, of the Pixel phones. So uh, I went to Spie Spiegens, I, I went to their website and effectively ordered one and then I realized, wait a minute, did I get the 4 or the 4XL? And I looked and I'm like, oh. I ordered the four on accident. So I went in to cancel that order, and there was no option to cancel the order on their website. Uh, on their official website. This, this is, you've probably heard the brand before. Uh, I was like, okay, well, I need the case. So I went and I looked. I'm like, verified 4XL. Okay, I'm good to go. Yes. Ordered it. And then in my feed, I see that Spigen... Uh, posted the same cases to Amazon for like half as much. I'm like, are you kidding me? So I went to cancel that, and there's no way to cancel. I'm like, look, I contacted support from the, 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 their support, their official email address or whatever, and they didn't reply. I said, look, before you ship this, I only have the option to return. Can you not ship it? Can I just cancel it? No response. Then I get the email. It's on its way. I'm like, you sons of guns. So... As much as I like their cases, I would not necessarily recommend ordering directly from their website. I And I also will add, I don't have any link to, to send you off to. You do your own searching and buying and everything. Um, but, uh, yeah, so I, I hopefully I'm not going to lose any money on that proposition because I contacted them ahead of time to let them know, hey, I, I'm canceling these orders effectively. But no, I'm going to have to return them. Uh, so, yeah, lesson learned. Don't order through their website, apparently. Um, this is for the Pixel 4 XL, right there. Uh, the reason I went with this one is because it, theoretically, theoretically, this is the one that I ordered, or the one that I clicked on, for sure, uh, it has a lip, effectively, up and around... Uh, the, the device itself it basically the case extends a little higher so uh, y if you can see the, the that clear line there it's maybe a millimeter or two a little thicker it doesn't add too much thickness uh, but uh, yeah that's th that's effectively what I'm looking for because you know it could save from a flat drop it could save a scratch it could save a, a you know a bump you don't know what can happen uh, but yeah so I, I have my case my translucent case there I'll hold it like that because of the uh, chroma key but there's the, uh, there's the camera hole right there, right there, camera hole, boom. Um, I'm not going to bother with the rest of it because you got to remove the protective film and I'll do all that um, when, when the device actually comes. I wouldn't say that it's perfect because you definitely get crummage and, and dirt and debris inside or in between the phone itself and, um, and the actual case. But in terms of a case, it's probably the least obtrusive of cases that um, I could have possibly found or that I have found at the most affordable. 
So, uh, yeah, that's the one, one of the reasons why I went with this new case over the old case. Uh, and if I, if I hold them up, like, side by side, or one on top of the other here, as I about drop my phone, um, it's about the same thickness. Like, the, the case itself is about the same. They've got some, you know, button placement is virtually the same. Uh, the only difference seems to be really the camera uh, cutout. And then possibly uh, at the bottom for the the, the speakers and uh, the, the the charging port. If you wanted to know what it looked like on the bottom, that's what the uh, the Pixel 4 XL will look like. Nice to know. Uh, and if you hadn't noticed, like the I, even though I have a black uh, uh, Pixel, uh, the reason why I have a white bumper is because I mentioned that I had to get the screen replaced. They were out of black bumpers. They just put a white one on. I'm like, okay, that's fine. They they asked if I wanted the white one. I'm like, oh sure, I guess. Not a fan of that, but apparently it's a custom type of pixel. Someone would be impressed, not me. I just want my devices to be, you know, all all black. Uh, but yeah, that's uh, that's what I have. Another interesting thing about this particular case is that, and this, I don't know why necessarily. We'll find out when the actual device gets here. But there seem to be raised corners um, on the back, and this could very well be. Let me try to tilt it so that you can. You can barely see these little bumpers on the sides, barely raised, and it could be because the camera uh, module uh, is, is basically protruding. So for potential further protection, I wouldn't say that it changes the usability or general design of this particular case. But until I can find one that I, I really, really like, I, I'm just going to go with, like, okay, this $11 uh, case, it works, it's fine, it's clean, it's not cluttered. Maybe at some point I'll find something better and I'll upgrade to that. But I just needed something, especially like, you know, minutes after, you know, getting the device. I definitely want to put the, the case in there. The name of the case is, and do not, this is my personal recommendation, don't get it from them. <laughs> go, go through a third party. Uh, this is the Ultra Hybrid. The Ultra Hybrid. Does that make sense? The Ultra Hybrid. Oh, sorry, you can't really see it there. Sorry. The Ultra Hybrid. Something you want! That's, that's really weird marketing. This is something you want! Come on! It's something you want! Obviously, I wanted it, I got it! Cheap, effective, uh, relatively clean. Um, they have some branding. It looks like it's a bit more prevalent on the newer case compared to the older case. Uh, but it's just on the side, like markings on the side. Uh, but generally speaking, not a huge logo, which I just can't stand for these, for these uh, third-party cases. So, um, yeah, that's it. It's the Pixel 4 XL Ultra Hybrid, the one that has the lip. That's what I call it, like the little protruding thing. Uh, I am in space. I'm in outer space. That's exactly where I am. Um, the one other thing that I wanted to cover with you guys, and I don't think you're going to mind. Uh, th there, there hasn't been too much on my radar. Everything that I saw today, I've effectively posted in, in the Discord server, which, of course, anybody and everybody is uh, more than welcome to join, if you are so inclined, uh, because the chat is happening there pretty much 24-7, I would say. Uh, there's the... If this works, let's see here. Did it work? I think it worked. Theoretically, the, uh, the link will pop into the comments there. You're more than welcome to join. Uh, Strange Crypt, I have to thank uh, for, specifically because he became a, a Twitch subscriber last night. Thanks again for that. I do appreciate it. Uh, I did do Twitching today for Intel. Uh, I, I beat King Dice. Unbelievable. I'm now at El Diablo, That's and that's the finale. I'm, I'm I was this close. I was literally on the flag this afternoon for El Diablo. This close to beating Cuphead. This close. So it's going to happen. I don't know if it's going to happen tonight, tomorrow, some point. Later, I don't know. You buy a screen protector or you're going naked? Yeah, you know, I have... I, and maybe this has changed, but I've yet to really find a good screen protector for the Pixel. Now, I think that will have changed specifically because there's no... Uh, 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 hopefully, not too many cutouts or as many cutouts on the, uh, uh, on the newer uh, device compared to the older ones. But no screen protector was, was solid. On the uh, for for the Pixel 2 XL or the Pixel 3 XL, that's one thing that does suck about living in the Pixel ecosystem. It's gotten better. It's gotten dramatically better, but you do lose a lot of uh, third-party uh, support effectively. So I haven't found one. 
Please consider the product red iPhone 11. No. I like red, but dude. Now, thank you for the segue, Angel. Although you probably need to just give up right now because you're wasting your breath. Um, I did mention, I think it was yesterday, that I was interested in, in photo shots and photo comparisons. So I'm going to try something here and, and, and let me know what you guys think. Because certainly when my device arrives, I'm thinking about doing the same same thing, doing it live, doing a photo comparison live. I, I think y'all would probably appreciate that for a TLDR. Then you really want me to go out and get all the devices and do it live, right? So um, this is the, be the best way I got it uh, set up. I've got three different arrays of photos here, all of which have been already linked and, and credit will be given. Uh, they have been linked on the Discord server. Uh, if you go to Google stuff, the Google stuff room, first, I'm going to show you uh, a few photos that came in by way of Raphael Grabley. Uh, and I'm probably mispronouncing his last name, Grabley. Uh, but, uh, so anyway, so these are the, the first four I'm going to show and hopefully, you know, this is going to work. I haven't done this before, but I tested it. So let me flip to this view. Uh, behind me. Oh, yeah, of course you see OBS. Ah, no, no. <sighs> Don't ever trust me when it comes to video production. Uh, so, you didn't see anything secret. It was just, you know, obviously my my streaming software, right? So, here we've got... We're going to have two shots here. And again, this the credit uh, to, to Raphael Gravely, who posted this publicly on Twitter. Uh, so, here's the first shot. And VT Productions PC, thank you for the uh, the super chat. I got one wallet case for going out, a Spigen black case and a clear case. See, I, I'm all about a clear case. I like black cases more, but... Um, this photo, it, this first one, it can, is going to be contrasted against... As soon as I flip to the app, uh, the app, or the program as we used to call it. One and two. So there's one and two. You're gonna go, it's gonna be like in a camera, you know, you're in a camera, um, or not camera, eye doctor. What, number one or number two? Number three or number four? Number five or number six? Uh, you know, and I, and I'm, I'm going to be panning around the image, just kind of, you know, point a few things out. And, and there's something that is demonstrably clear. This particular photo comparison is between the iPhone 11 and the, uh, and the Pixel 4. But there's one thing that I see over and over again with iPhone 11 photos, specifically even versus Pixel 4 photos, and that is that um, the Pixel definitely the Pixel 4 runs cooler, uh, and the iPhone definitely r runs hella warm with major con uh, major um, uh, saturation boosts, and, and and that is it's jarring to me. And, and everybody's eyes, you know, are going to want something different. But to me, to my eyes, for this particular set of photos, uh, you know, I, I, like, I like the fact that you can see more green from the, the, the trees in the iPhone photo here. Uh, but I, I just feel that if I was standing there in real life, it would seem that the pixel photo is more neutral, not warm. This has definitely got a warm cast to it, which is a motif. For the iPhone, uh, I'm going to go ahead and move the window up a tiny bit. Uh, I want you to pay attention specifically to the chair. If you can see it, this chair right down here, you can see like my mouse cursor. Oh, I guess I got to raise it a little higher because it's not exactly. Uh, uh, the, they didn't. It wasn't pixel aligned. Uh, the the photographer didn't do that. But look at the look at the warm. It almost looks not flat, but and. It, it's not that the pixel looks darker, and it's not that the 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 iPhone looks warmer, but it just seems that specifically like the yellows in the chair, like I, I, between those two, I, I feel that I would like the pixel shot more than the the iPhone shot because I could always warm this shot up, but getting the the iPhone shot to have a perfect white balance would be maddening to me. And I'm someone who likes a good white balance, like a solid white balance. I don't want to mess with white balance. I don't want to tweak it. I just want a good shot with white balance. And that's something that you can see. I'm going to I'm gonna move out of the way. This is where it's really prevalent, not just in that the yellow chair, 
Uh, but the, you can see like the the tape over here, like uh, like right here. Keep your eye on that. And I may accidentally flip to another photo, but so it, it's like that 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 yellow kind of not blends with the green, but it's not as dramatic of a difference between uh, the 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 colors on the iPhone. Very warm, very 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 warm, uh, and a cooler seemingly better white balanced uh, pixel 4 photo that's my perspective um there have been a couple of shots that have been floating around from the verge showing the selfie cam and a lot of people thinking that the pixel 4 actually took a better shot than the iphone in that case i thought the iphone even though it was warmer it tended to be a more pleasant photo uh so let me go ahead and flip to the next ones that uh he posted this is uh also from Raphael. Gravely see I don't have I don't ha have devices to test on so we have here a very 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 warm um, iPhone photo and, and a cooler to neutral uh, Pixel photo and see that's the thing is yeah, this looks cool. I mean in the sense of cooler temperature bluer, right, but anything would be cool compared to this like this in, in, incredibly warm um image uh so anything would look cool and, and again again the, the color balance of course and the calibration is going to look different on my screen than it might on yours uh i'm i'm obviously i'm very white compared to this guy uh but it was just to me um you know another example where it's like look at the background right you'd imagine the background here being kind of a neutral color but in this shot, it almost looks like yellowy. It's warm. Warm. Neutral to cool. Warm. Neutral to cool. And, and, and I would steer neutral to cool. In fact, on my screen, it looks more neutral than it does on yours. He looks warmer in this in this uh, um, in this particular shot on the on the, the stream view that I that I can see. And look specifically. I, I, I'm, ah! uh, look specifically at, at his hair. Uh, the, the whites in his hair. See, that just looks more natural. That just looks yellow. He's got yellow hair. Not yellow hair. Yellow hair. Not yellow hair. Yellow hair. And so, you know, it's just one example, clean example. I've seen iPhone shots versus Pixel shots where I, I prefer the iPhone shot. But more often than not, the, the, the I don't think the iPhone is getting accurate color representation or at least in my eyes, I, I can't, I, I can't fathom seeing them side by side. I'm like, I would much prefer the cooler to neutral shot. Okay. So that's, that's that. Uh, again, I will, I will link in the, in this video description to make sure he gets full credit, uh, but they are currently linked in the discord server, uh, as I, uh, as I shared them there earlier today. I'm going to go ahead and close this and pop over to Android central. Um, you know, I, I'm not even, I, I, I I'm not even going to, um, you know, uh, uh, pretend that I visit Android Central every day. I don't. But I was looking specifically for this particular type of comparison. Google Pixel 4 versus Pixel 3 shots. This is what interested me most. And so um, this is effect effectively what they've posted. Uh, daylight photos, night photos, etc. But I wanted to show them uh, or tr do my best to kind of showcase them. Uh, if I... I had to like maneuver certain things in order to get the web page to load. I'm not gonna like do full zoom ins or anything. That's the four, that's the three. So the three has a warmer tint to it compared to the four, which can be adjusted in software, I'm sure, continuously. But between the two, I like look at the top of the, look at this particular part of the, uh, the camera. I would much prefer a neutral silvery gray than this like yellow cast, warmer cast. So this is the Pixel 4, that's the Pixel 3. Th these, are the, these are the photo shots that I was hoping for. So uh, going down a little bit further, uh, we've got between the Pixel 4 and the 3, 4, neutral, look at the wall, look at the ceiling. More neutral, a little warmer, even, even the tones in the, in the wood back here. Stark contrast, warmer versus bold but neutral. So it's difficult to say because I'm not physically there. Uh, I think the daylight photos of the camera were more uh, dramatic. Um, you know, and there were a couple other shots that didn't seem to be, you know, 
as dramatic, but even between the two cups here of, of a latte, you can see, look at the white. This is what Google was bragging about yesterday, right? Or bragging is probably the wrong word, but this is what Google was talking about yesterday, okay? So let me, I can't, uh, how can I do this? Um, all right, I'm just gonna keep sitting here because I was like, I can move over to the other side. Yeah, yeah you know, forget it. I, I've already, I'm already, I'm, I'm breaking through the fourth wall here. All right, so uh, here we have, it's Cuphead. Uh, look at the white, look at the white. Uh, specifically, the whites. So that's the three and the four. Three, four. They're right. Google has done a better job with white balancing, especially in a low light type of situation. That's enough of a difference, man. That is a solid difference. Solid difference. You can see it in these shots as well. There's a slightly warmer th from the three to the four. Very, very subtle. But look, at you can, you can just... T it's like this... A yellow hue, a light yellow hue over the three image versus the four. So, and, and again, it's difficult to know what the lighting was, but between these, between any one, almost any one of these, uh, I, I prefer the four. So this is an interesting, uh, an interesting study, right? Uh, I like the, the, the bold green of the three. But between the three and the four, and I noticed this between product shots between, or image shots between the iPhone 4 and uh, the, the Pixel, I'm sorry, the iPhone 11 and the Pixel 4. Um, when the iPhone takes a picture of cement, seemingly, like in these types of shots, compared against the Pixel 4, um, the iPhone is always warmer. Like even between the three, look at the, look at the cement, look at the, look at the sidewalk, right? It's just, it's a very, very subtle shift. And it's perhaps a little a, a more clear on my screen versus streaming it. But there, there's just a slight, a, just a slight, slight er yellow tint to the three image versus the four. Uh, some of these weren't as dramatic. Of course, they've, you know, got their commentary. And you should absolutely, you know, read it. Um, night shots, four, three, four and three. The four tended to be a bit cooler. This was difficult to ascertain, and I've had this issue with Night Sight as well. But here's my question. Look at that pole color. It shifts from this blue, dark green to a green. My question is, what's the color of the pole? Is it green, like the Pixel 4 is showing? Or is it more this bluish green that the Pixel 3 is showing? And given my experience with Night Sight, on the the pixel 3 my inclination is to believe that the, the pool is actually colored green uh, here again we're going to see kind of a cool versus warm difference look at the columns specifically there's the pixel 4 versus the 3 4 3 at night you know it's it's difficult to, to to pick up on colors but i'd imagine that columns are probably a bit more cool than warm uh even have a uh, warmer Pixel 3 versus a cooler 4 across the board from skin tone. Some of these weren't as dramatic. 4, 3. The 4 runs cooler. In fact, they noted that. They said the, the Pixel 4 is sharper, cleaner, brighter, and manages colors better, but it's also unnaturally cool. And that's the difficult thing to ascertain. Like, is it what's unnatural? What does that mean? Now, there's one other thing that I wanted to show, and this is from Nicholas Gray on Twitter. Comparing the Pixel 4 versus the iPhone 11 Pro, found they both perform well with their 2x zoom lenses. And I will I will zoom in here, or pop up the, the photos. Uh, however, the Pixel 4 crushes the iPhone when zooming into 8x. Now, there are some people who say, yeah, but where's the wide angle? I'm like, you know, um, with a wide angle, you can't always step back. But I guarantee you can't all you cannot always move closer to an object, especially if there's a barrier in between. And so between the two, uh, I, I guess I always uh, I, if I had to choose between the two, uh, and I'll get to the wide angle stuff in in, in a moment. But uh, the t having the telephoto there is nice. I wish I had both, but I would choose a telephoto before I chose a wide angle. Granted, we have the wide angle on the the Pixel 4. Oh, who tweeted that out earlier? 
there's another example of the wide angle um, selfie cam on the Pixel 4. I may have to pull it up for tomorrow, uh, but it, it it it's not as wide angle. The Pixel 4 camera is not as wide angle as the Pixel 3 wide angle camera because they they have just one lens versus the two. But in terms of usability on that, very I, I, watching Diana, she would never remember to pinch to use the wider angle lens on the selfie camera. She would never use it. So she had it, she didn't use it. So I think most users would err on the side of, I'm using the front facing camera, I'm good to go, using just that default lens, not necessarily remembering to pinch to zoom to get the full wide angle experience. So the fact that it's wide angle by default, I would say is a pretty decent compromise. So let's go ahead and pull up the photo shots. Now this is, uh, this is uh, let's see here, Pixel, then it's iPhone. Uh, let's, let, I'm just going to set aside focus for a second because I'm not sure how what, which fo object he was focusing on. I want you to pay attention specifically to the box and the chair. Like the, the chair right there, like the color of the chair. Like there is, I mean, yes, the, the iPhone uh, image is a bit darker. The box almost looks like it's got a pink hue to it. Um, the chair looks closer to a gray on my screen. And it's a little, just, it looks like a, um, closer to a neutral gray, but a bit darker on the iPhone shot. What I'm trying to pay attention to specifically in this shot, indoor lighting, is what, which one handled a better white balance? And, it, but, oops, sorry, I don't want to jump to that yet. Between the, uh, between the two, I would give it to the Pixel, uh, for, for the Pixel 4, for a better white balance in this shot. Uh, the, the iPhone has this, like, like I said, kind of a pink kind of hue. Um, so let's go ahead and move on to the 8x difference. So there's the Pixel, 8x zoom versus the iPhone. Pixel, iPhone, and I mean muddy versus clear. I mean, that's, I mean you knew that was going to happen, right? Um, this looks like a digital zoom, effectively. But whatever Magic Google is doing with their 8x, that is epic. Like that's a usable zoom right there. From the lettering uh, to uh, the divisions of the little notches, ah, get it, notch, um, to a, a nice blurred background versus, you know, uh, well, it's, it's, it's a digital zoom. So, um, yeah, that, that's, that's effectively what, you know, the, what I wanted to showcase there. Gone! Back to this view. Um, so... There was, like I said, someone had posted earlier, and I forgot to link the tweet, but showing off the differences with the wide angle on the Pixel 4, uh, the, the Pixel 4 versus the Pixel 3 wide angle a selfie camera. And there was a difference. You don't get as as wide a shot. Um, but, again, everything's going to be a compromise. And I know a lot of people will, uh, um, you know, complain that none of these phones are perfect, but none of these phones are perfect. None of these phones are ever going to be perfect. We're always like moving forward uh, to, you know, progress towards this idea of perfection. That's what makes technology awesome. So iterative changes, I'm happy to see the difference between the three and the four going more cool, yay. So closer to a, a, a natural white, despite the lighting, yay. That's what I wanted to see. Uh, I, setting aside any iPhone 11 versus Pixel comparisons, uh, you know, it, it seems like we've got a, a, a very suitable um, uh, uh, photo output from the four. So I'm happy. Like that's that's all effectively that I was looking for. Um, you know, knowing what one would look like against the other, more the Pixel versus Pixel versus Pixel versus iPhone, because. And I'm telling you, like when The Verge posted their photos um, between the iPhone 11 and the, the Pixel, I went to the Pixel most of the time except for the selfie. The selfie, I liked the warmer shot outside in, in that instance uh, from the iPhone. Would that drive my decision? Absolutely not. No way. Um, you know, uh, I, 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 I appreciated the photos that the Pixel 3 takes. Uh, and, and will likely appreciate the four, uh, you know, just as much, if not uh, potentially more so. My plan, of course, then doing that. Did you was the side by side thing okay? Was that that was like me like testing things like I I kind of like an eye exam, right? Like look at that, look at this. Though, what about this? What about that? Like I said, you know, on their own, like the iPhone photos look you know outstanding, and then you you compare them to another shot, and like wait a minute, that looks 
less warm and probably closer to real life than this oversaturated photo. So, if you like that, what I'll uh, probably do uh, when I get the Pixel 4 XL is kind of do the same thing. I'll take pictures and say, okay, here's the shot from the 3, and here's the shot with the 4. Here's the shot with the 3, here's the shot with the 4, and then, then run through it. Because I think that seemingly worked out well enough for me. I don't know. <clears throat> yeah, no, I mean, y you think about it, you know, I mean, it's forget photos. I mean, this is like, like I talk about, it, it is your computer. You, no one wants to admit that seemingly, but it's true. Like it, it's, it's, it's your everything, right? It's, it's your primary communications device, unless you're an anomaly. Um, you know, it, it's, uh, 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 it's something that is always going to get you know, improve. And this is what always, it makes me laugh when, when I see just such dramatics. And I know people are probably thinking, Chris, Chris complaining about dramatics. Um, <laughs> like, but it doesn't, it doesn't turn water into wine. It doesn't walk on water. Everybody wants something different. Everybody, everybody wants something different. Uh, and, and it's, it's, it's always going to be that way. Uh, competition makes the marketplace healthy. So if anything, I appreciate that Google has pushed the ball forward uh, and, and, and will continue to. What's nice to know about how they handle a lot of the, uh, the photography is it, it's not so much tied to the hardware as it is the software, which means over the next year, we're likely going to see improvements. Now, uh, Apple's doing the same thing which is nice to see. Um, is Does that make the iPhones better? Yes, because they're improving the software experience uh, with in, in, in relation to the photos, on the iPhone 11 at least. What are, what are they called? I can't remember what they're calling it. Some marketing term. But the, uh, 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 the impact of that resonates deeply. Like, the, you know, and I wish that more companies would, would, would understand that. Like this continually improved software experience would improve the hardware and more often than not like you get devices that you know ship that you connect to your computer that you plug in somewhere and then rarely if ever did they do they see a software update which is unfortunate and, and that's something that I've, I've really appreciated from uh from google at least uh in in recent years certainly uh, in relation to the pixel uh there there was an article i think it was on android police suggesting yeah don't get too comfortable like Google could kill the pixel, uh, and I'm not. Uh, you know, I thought about that. Like, what would happen? What would happen if they killed the pixel? What would I do? Uh, I'd probably hold on to the pixel for a little while longer. That's difficult to say. If they killed the pixel in the same year as Apple went back to a cohesive design uh, with a notchless screen, adding ProMotion making cleaner improvements to iOS, I could probably bite the bullet if there was no more Pixel and go back to iOS. It'd be painful because Google Assistant on a Pixel is second to none. There's nobody even close. Nobody. Nobody's even close. And I have a feeling that's going to be even uh, more dramatic with the 4. So I'm hoping that Google views success with the Pixel differently than what a modern smartphone manufacturer might view the success being. It is it is setting a standard that I, I, I hope more companies could, could adhere to. Everyone has their own take. And of course, they're more than free to, to, to have their own take on what a smartphone experience could be. But in my estimation, the two is fantastic for me. The three was fantastic. Uh, for me, imperfect, yes, but I'm expecting the four will be as well. So yeah, looking at the photos was important for me. Like you know, not the marketing stuff. I don't want to see marketing stuff. I want let me let me know the scoop. What's the skinny? How's the pixel selling? I couldn't tell you. I really don't know, and and I I personally don't care. Probably I I can't imagine as much as Samsung. Certainly not the iPhone. Yeah, you know, Dennis, the funny thing is, I use the, the squeeze all the time. I mean, it sounds funny, but I do. I, I mean, like, all the time. All the time. All the time use it. Uh, in fact, it's maddening 
because in my uh, web, my web browser doesn't support it, which is is anger inducing, right? Because sometimes I'm like, oh, I need to search for something, or I need to and I squeeze, and uh, I can't do it because I'm in the web browser. I'm like, Ugh. and they still haven't fixed the bug, and I filed it two years ago. Ah, software. What are you gonna do? Uh, yeah, I, I I I use I use the squeeze. Another thing I'm waiting for with Android 10 is for them to support third-party launchers. I thought that it would have rolled out with the October uh, update, but it did not. Um, so theoretically, the next iteration uh, or next update will have it uh, because they said they would release it within the months of Android 10. I'm still going to use my third-party launcher, but I just won't be able to use the new gestures until they they. Uh, support the third-party launcher. I'm not going to use the pixel launcher. That's 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 uh, that's how I feel. That's what I would do. That's me. That's my choice. Uh, hey, Ricky. Good to see you as well. I I did have one question. Like tonight, um, for 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 the after show, and I don't think it really matters. But like, I don't know what where I should stream because I already did it on Twitch earlier today, uh, and I and I uploaded that video to uh, the the Chris Perillo plays YouTube channel. So I'm not sure where I should go. I'm not I'm not feeling Mixer or Facebook. I guess I could stream it live onto uh, to YouTube or go to Twitch again. I don't know. I I have no I have no preference one way or another. And honestly, I don't think anybody here does uh, either. But I, I'm like I'm I'm itching to de to to beat uh, to beat the uh, oh yeah Dennis Dennis wants me to do YouTube gaming of course yeah we talked about that didn't we um, okay um, maybe I will maybe I'll try it blog TV wow that's old uh, the only other thing I gotta complain right I really have to um, Amazon you know. I'm not the first person to have noticed or said anything about this particular series, but uh, TVC Wave 2 is out. You can't really see it as effectively because of the chroma key, right? Uh, but the Shadow Troopers are out. Even with the chroma key, that's not too bad. Oh, oh man. Shadow Troopers. So I definitely want to army build with these suckers. But they shipped, and the bubble bubbles were creased. I mean, the envelope was just... It, they didn't care. And so dented boxes, creases, bends, uh, smashed bubbles. Um, but I'm, I'm going to I'm going to chat with an Amazon rep tonight and say, uh, what's up with that? And, uh, you know, maybe they'll send new ones. I don't know. I don't know. Squeeze launch Siri would be painful. Yeah, because uh, it's sorry. I have my opinions about Siri. Uh, suffice to say, I'm happier with Google Assistance. Okay, so we have one vote for YouTube Gaming and one vote for Twitch. Oh, wow. Okay, that's great. Thanks for helping with the decisions, people. That's... Not helpful. <laughs> uh... Well... I'd imagine there are probably just as many people who would view it on YouTube as, as Twitch when I stream live. Okay, fine. But didn't my video already go on, on to... It, maybe it didn't. If I look on the Discord server, you, we didn't actually get it. You did not actually get a notification for um, me beating uh, King Dice. Huh. And I thought you would have. All right, hang on. Audio should not be playing here, but it should be public or will be public after it processes. Maybe it's taking a while to process. Like I said, oh, it's 95% processed in that in the in the ch in that channel. Uh, but I beat King Dice. Oh, you got the notification? Weird. It's public. Zero views. Maybe I did it. I probably did it wrong. Oops. Okay. Uh, I, I think that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do uh, Mixer and 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 YouTube Gaming and Periscope and Facebook simultaneously. I'm gonna do four. They're off. 
four streams. Uh, unknown error occurred, but maybe I shouldn't. I don't. I don't like these unknown errors. I like my errors to be known. Thank you very much. Oh my gosh. I just have to make sure I do the right thing. Oh. Uh, okay. Uh, I, I guess I will see y'all in the uh, TLDR after show. I was getting things set up here for Periscope, uh, Mixer, YouTube, and Facebook, my personal profile. Uh, and if you don't want to tune in, fine. Don't. I don't care. I'm still going to play. Um, I got to beat the devil. I got to. I got to. I was this close. I was, if When you watch the video, if you watch the video, I was this close. This close to beating Cuphead. Oh, now the video's, the video just went public. I was this I was kissing the flag. Kissing the flag. Ugh. Okay, uh, that's what I'm going to do. So thank you, everybody, for joining. Uh, I do love you. I appreciate you. And at this point, I am going to leave you to your own devices. See you tomorrow night, 7 p.m. for TLDR. I have no idea what I'm going to talk about. I'll figure something out, or you guys can ask me questions. Uh, if not, it'll be a very short TLDR. It's completely up to you. Uh, may the force be with you. Always! <laughs>